Imagine fighting an infection with something that came from mold and not needing a shot to do it. Penicillin VK made that possible. It was one of the first antibiotics you could take by mouth, and it's still going strong nearly 100 years later. Hi, my name is Stan, and I'm a licensed pharmacist passionate about providing educational content on medications to help you make smarter health choices. And yes, today, let's talk about penicillin VK, also known as PenVK or penicillin V potassium. This beta-lactam antibiotics worked by stopping bacteria from building their protective walls. It binds to penicillin-binding proteins and blocks the final step of peptidoglycan synthesis. Without that cell wall, bacteria become weak, leaky, and easy for immune system to destroy. It's commonly used for infections like strep throat, mild respiratory infections, skin infections, dental abscesses, and for the prevention of rheumatic fever or bacterial endocarditis in certain heart patients. Penicillin VK comes in 250 mg and 500 mg tablet or as an oral solution. Dosing depends on the infection. For strep throat, adults might take 500 mg twice a day for 10 days, while other infections may require dosing every 6 to 8 hours. For dental or heart-related prevention, there is a specific schedule before and after the procedure. You'll want to take it on an empty stomach, either one hour before or two hours after a meal, because food reduces how much of it your, your body absorbs. And since only about 60 to 73% reaches your bloodstream, timing really matters. Take it consistently and don't skip doses. If you miss it one, just take it as soon as you remember, unless it's too close to the next dose. Common side effects include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or skin rash. More serious risks, though rare, include C. diff-associated diarrhea and severe allergic reactions. And yep, the rumors are true. Up to 10% of people reported penicillin allergy, but most aren't truly allergic when tested. Still, never ignore signs like hives, swelling, or breathing trouble. And here's a fun fact. During World War II, penicillin was so valuable that hospitals literally collected it from patients' urine to reuse it. Wild, right? Well, thank you for watching this educational video. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with someone who might need it. Stay healthy, and I will see you next time. Bye.